to hammer out a peace deal with the Taliban. This new strategic alignment on Afghanistan is causing India a great deal of discomfort. Not only does it leave India out of the decision-making loop. There are many people in Afghanistan that want peace and the fact that Pakistan is taking a more progressive and a more vocal step towards this, this is an appreciation. But I believe there is a positive change in recent times. Pakistan has tried to facilitate talks between the Taliban and the United States and also favors inter-Afghan dialogue, including between the Taliban and the government. And I think that's positive. I want to stress is purely a Pakistan initiative. It's an initiative taken by us. It could mean that Pakistan facilitate the arrange or host uh, these talks, which could lead to some sort of stability in the region. This year, for the first time, the Pakistan Super League, a T20 franchise tournament, is being played fully on home soil. US-based business magazine Forbes has listed Pakistan among the best under-the-radar places to visit in 2020. The British Backpacker Society has declared Pakistan as the world's third highest potential adventure destination for 2020. The UK has softened its travel advice to its citizens visiting Pakistan. Pakistan ke liye Britain ke baad America, Norway aur Portugal ne bhi Pakistan ke liye travel advisory behtar kar di. La 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 there is no god but one. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his meeting with US President Donald Trump has drawn a big line in the sand on the Kashmir issue, making it amply clear in no uncertain words and speaking specifically in Hindi. Prime Minister Modi has said that the Kashmir issue is only bilateral and India will not allow any third party mediation on the matter. We're talking about Kashmir and the relation to what's going on with Pakistan and India. And if we can help, we certainly will be helping. 
because of the competent diplomatic principles of Mr. Modi's government, we had uh, vis-a-vis Pakistan, we had seen as to how the issue of Kashmir had gone to the back burner. Wa makar, wa makar Allah, wa Allah khayr al makirin. Main Kashmir ka ambassador banu. Dunya me me Kashmir ka. जो हालात हैं जो पैगाम है जो सिचुएशन है वो मैं दुनिया में लेके जाऊंगा The BBC investigation has uncovered allegations of brutal beatings and torture by soldiers in Indian administered Kashmir. I am deeply concerned about the impact of recent actions by the government of India on the human rights of Kashmiris. We have been expressing very clearly absolute needs for human rights to be fully respected in Kashmir. There have been several allegations of excessive use of force including use of pellet firing shotguns, tear gas and rubber bullets by security forces. Well, we've been watching that and following it very very closely. Turkey will continue to call for justice, peace and dialogue on the Kashmir issue. Allah Akbar. India will set the ball rolling to formally designate Pakistan a terror state both nationally as well as on a global forum through the United Nations the government of india as a long term measure has to strive to bring about one consensus on terrorism so that we can declare pakistan easily as a terrorist nation you have to have an international messaging that has to go to them hard action being taken and i feel one of the measures that has been adopted is blacklisting by the fata it's one good measure وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ The ongoing financial action task force plenary in Paris, it appears, has now decided to not blacklist Pakistan. Allah Hakkar!